Okay, today I have a giant magnifying glass and my 5 watt burning laser. And I'm going to be testing what happens if you try to focus the point of a laser pointer down to an even smaller point. Will it get even hotter? And how small can you get it? Can you just get an infinitely hot temperature with lasers? So first let's see what happens when I try to focus down my 32,000 lumen flashlight into one single point. Is it possible? So in order to do that, I wanna gather all of this light that's coming off and focus it down to one single point. But because the light spreads out like this, I have to put my magnifying glass really close to it to capture all of the light. But you can see what happens when I put the magnifying glass really close to it. It spreads out the light instead of focuses it to a point. So in order to focus it to a point, I have to move it further away from the lens. But as I move it further away from the lens, you can see now I'm losing light on the wall, on the background wall. So I've lost a lot of the light in order to focus it down to a smaller point. And you can see what this starts to look like actually, it's just a miniature version of the LED lights on the light itself. So this is what the LED looks like and that's the picture you saw there. So in order to focus this down to a very small point, that just means I need to move my flashlight further and further and further away. So I'm gonna move it all the way across the room and now you can see I can focus it down to a tiny little spot. But now because the flashlight's clear across the room, I've actually lost most of the light on the wall and only a tiny little bit is making it to the lens and it's focusing it down to a small point. And because I've lost so much light, that small point is now not brighter than the light itself. So the magnifying glass did nothing to brighten the light. The dot is never gonna be brighter than the original flashlight itself. So this is an important point. For a flashlight, you can never use a lens to focus the flashlight down to a brighter point than the original source itself. So you can never do anything with any combination of lenses. You can never make a brighter point than the LED lights on the flashlight itself. And the same thing applies when you use the magnifying glass to focus down sunlight to burn things. That means that that point of light that you get from a magnifying glass can never make a point that's brighter than the surface of the sun. So no matter how big of lens we ever had on Earth, no matter what we did, we can never focus the sunlight down to get something hotter than the surface of the sun. If I were able to make a point on the ground that's hotter than this source, that would mean that I was violating the second law of thermodynamics because that would mean that I'm flowing heat, because this is hotter, I'm flowing heat from cold to hot. So the energy is going from cold to hot but we know that that can't happen. It always goes from hot to cold. But does that apply to lasers as well? Well, let's check. Okay, so in order to see this, I've turned my exposure way down or else you're just gonna see a really bright ball of light. And I have it on a black surface here to absorb even more light so we can actually see how big the point is. So I have my laser across the room. Let's turn it on and see how big the point is now. Okay, so you can see it's kind of a line of light now and it's kind of burning the background here. Now let's see what happens if I stick my lens in front of it. Whoa, I can make it a tiny point and it easily burns the background now. So you can see the smoke coming off of it. It's slightly burning the background here, but then as soon as I put my lens in there, I can focus it down to a tiny little point and it immediately burns whatever's around it. So you can see that it kind of starts to burn the wood here. It takes a while for it to burn. Have to leave it there for a bit because it's far away across the room. But now watch what happens when I focus it down. It pretty much immediately burns and starts on fire. It's awesome. <laughs> It essentially just etches into the wood immediately. And you can see that this happens even more powerful than if I had the laser just right up next to it. You can see that I still have to leave it there for a bit to even start burning. 
So it seems as though I get my highest temperature when I put my laser really far away, essentially so that I get that little tiny laser slit to a single point because I place it far away. And so that all of the light coming from the laser is now focused into a very, very tiny point. And so all of the energy from the laser can be focused to a small point due to the magnifying glass. And so you can even get a higher temperature than if you just placed your laser directly on the thing you were trying to burn. So what's going on here? I just told you that it violates the second law of thermodynamics if you are able to focus light down to a point hotter than the source itself. But I just did it with a laser. So why does that happen? But actually with lasers, this actually doesn't violate the second law of thermodynamics. And the reason may sound a little weird. It's because flashlights in the sun, those all have positive temperatures. They have very high positive temperatures, but lasers actually have a negative temperature. Let me show you what I mean. So negative temperature can only exist in something that has a limited number of states. So when something is really cold, it means that all of the atoms are in a low energy state. If it were absolute zero, that would mean that every atom is in its lowest energy state. And as you heat it up, these atoms can pop up to a higher energy state. And the hottest you can possibly get is for an equal number of atoms to be in the high and low energy state. And when you have something the hottest you can possibly get, that means you have an equal number of atoms in the high energy state and the low energy state. So the temperature scale actually goes like this. It starts at zero Kelvin, and then you can get up to some in-between temperature like 500 degrees Kelvin. And then as you keep going, you can actually get to an infinite temperature, as high a temperature as you can possibly get, where there's an equal number of atoms in the high energy state and the low energy state. But you can actually keep going from there and you can actually get more atoms to pop up and be in the high energy state. And the only way you can do that is in quantum mechanical based systems like lasers. And in that case, it goes past positive infinity and it actually the next step is to go to negative infinity Kelvin. And then if you keep going from there, you could get to negative 500 Kelvin and then it the highest temperature you could possibly get is negative zero Kelvin. Now this, sounds now this sounds crazy to say that the highest temperature you could get is negative zero Kelvin. But what this means is actually that negative temperatures are hotter than positive temperatures. So focusing any light source that doesn't have a population inversion like a laser, so basically anything that's not laser light, you can never get a hotter point than the source, or you can never get a brighter point than the source itself. But for lasers, you can get to any temperature you want by focusing it to a smaller and smaller point, which is actually pretty cool. And because lasers actually have a negative temperature, it means that you're still not breaking the second law of thermodynamics. Whew, that was close. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to The Action Lab yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't checked it out yet. Check out my new Action Lab subscription box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.